Here we. I was not gonna stream today, but I think some of this stuff's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm just gonna be doing like a run through of stuff I've been finding so far. Uh, this stuff's probably I don't know, probably already out in the wild, like on his Discord and stuff, and Twitter, but. We don't follow that stuff, so <laughs> let's just see what we can come up with. I was messing around, like 6H is so cool now, just because of that juggle, or that bounce. Um, and the nerf to this has been kind of whatever. I initially thought it was bigger, because when I was first doing stuff, uh, looking at dash through, back turn slash, he kept getting grabbed, so that was like, oh, this is dead. This is actually dead. Let's go. Let's go. He's dead. Um, but nah, I think, I think he's got some stuff going on. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I think he's got some stuff going on still. Um, we'll see. Like, I don't know how much any of this is actually useful or by a big useful or viable or really changes is stuff you want to add to your game plan but I don't know we'll see I definitely like the implementation of this so I was seeing like so it gets grabbed there but I think our timing was bad so let's see and I have saw I think you should be set yeah you set to do 5k uh, on block so if anything's not tight then he's gonna do go for that Yeah, so I mean, we, we could just do that and get the damage there. And that's another thing I did find out or I noticed earlier is if he gets uh, 236S, then he does get to throw out 6H and that will counter hit a get up attempt that's not a D, that's not a reversal, which is kind of cool, I think. But I swear I got this to work out differently before. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So you have the thing is like with with uh with okay with two three six H running through is you have to do a button a little bit earlier than it looks. Like you think he's like still recovering, but he's actually able to do a button, and you have to do the button in that period. Oh, you want attention right now, don't you? Okay. You want to yeah, there we go. That's pretty good, I feel like. That's a lot of pressure on them. And I think the way it is now, so... I'm going to put you down on the ground. I think the way it is now, um, like there you get the counter hit, but he doesn't really get a lot from that counter hit off the top of my head. Well, I guess he gets kind of, he gets kind of the same thing, but I think like it looking so much tighter, most people don't try and hit a button. I think the pause there, I wonder what sound you're making on that mic. The pause there might make them more willing to mash out a button, and it does naturally, if it naturally avoids his 5k, I think that's pretty good. So let's see, what if we switch him to do this? Oh wait, what does change? Which button does change? It's after hit, oh. Alright, so that beats it. That beat, but that beats it. Okay. So this might be not 100% useful in our arsenal then. Ah, 
Ah, but see, that's the thing. It's like we lose, we do lose that very up close back turn slash in that situation. What'd you think? So I don't know. Like, I guess there it's just kind of like we're, we're definitely trying to mix up our options and see what they do. So, but we do get... No, we don't get it there either. So that's 174. Uh, let's see. What else could we have him try and do off the block? Actually, they like doing... I've had this happen before, so let's see. Right, so that counter hits like normal. Okay, so we lose there. Lose there, and we oh, and we get counter hit it. So yeah, we're we're screwed there. That's a ton of damage because he gets a night raid vortex after that. So that's like max damage. Get off my coffee. Okay, so it really might just be um, if we're thinking they're going to mash lights. I don't know why they would mash a heavy button though most of the time. So I think if we're trying to go for Oki. Instead of damage, it's fine. But, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, so we lose off of that. It's not terrible, I guess. Actually, I don't know. Oh, we do get that, though. Wait a second. How much damage is this? Oh, we can counter it there, too. So, yeah, we kind of have, like, a little bit of a, a stupid thing there, I guess. Where we can kind of just be really janky with it. Or... Why is your head so scraggly? Okay, so we don't get anything there. Don't get anything there. What about... Alright, so we don't get the DP follow-up there either. I noticed in a few situations he does get DP at a range that seems a little bit further. So that was kind of cool. So it doesn't trap on anything, I don't think. Nah. So yeah. Hmm. I, I now I'm starting to think. Cause before I was like, well, this is kind of cool. But I wonder if there's like a situation where you really want to do it over just tossing out 5H in situations you can toss 5H out in. Because if it's just going to lose to... Alright, let's see. Hmm, 
What else do we got? What else do we got then? Alright, he doesn't get it off of that. Get off of that. He doesn't get off of that. But that he, that soul did try and mash on on wake up, so it does it does catch mashing on wake up there. I think I think we have him set we have him set to do far slash, don't we? So let's set him to do. I no, set to do throw. Let's set him to do wake up 5k. So we went. There we go. I do. Oh, what do we have him set to do on, on hit? We have him set to do this. Let's set him to do 5k on when he's hit. Okay, yeah, he'll still win, which is good. Okay, so even if he does 5k in that weird situation, we would still win there with it. But I don't know if there's much reason. And that end. What about? No. All right. So we will be. If we do that, let's set him to do. Let's set him on block to just. We'll keep going back to 5K. I think that's the best thing we want to do. I really want attention. Don't like Leo. Or you like Leo a lot? I don't know. All right, let's see here. So we do. All right, so that'll always work. What about? the wall that's pretty good I think I think that's all right but I mean that's not like something he didn't have before you know but now we got to like look and see like how are we using smooth more I guess Yeah, that one I think we have to we have to the red RC. Um, okay, so let's see. We've looked at that. I didn't realize that was that cool. Hmm. Let's sit. Him to do. So we've got him set to do that on recovery. What if he does grab on recovery? That still works the exact same. Okay, that's cool. He is set the he set to do it right. I haven't said after recovery throw. Huh. Interesting. Alright, let's make sure it's not a weird soul thing. I'm gonna set it to be mirror. 
Hmm. I was under the impression you didn't get back turn S anymore. But that'd be grab and stand K with him. Why is he starving? Oh, he's set to do punch. Grab, thank you. I don't like how that this was un inconsistent there. Okay. That's not bad damage. I think his damage can be a little higher though. Ooh, that's 234. That's pretty good. So it's not going to hit there. Still not going to hit. Like all together, that's over. That's about what sixty percent. That's not bad off of one setup. One setup, fifty bar. I don't know. Oh wait a second now. So what if we go like... He's dead. Alright, so that was all whiff. Okay.
That's pretty good damage. One thing I didn't know is you cannot dash cancel. Uh, that move. Because they can just, uh, they'll get the grab and my guess is they'll also get any button they press. So, that sucks. It's not terrible. So yeah, I think I think that's kind of like it for that, really. So the two three six H thing didn't really change his Oki, and six H kind of gives him some kind of interesting combo routes. I think. Um, what if we did? Okay, but I think we gotta also look at it like this too, right? Alright, so yeah, let's look at it like that. Yeah, so the damage is the same, really. So it's not wildly different than something he could have done before. I think the bigger thing, then... I think the bigger thing then is probably where he just gets that counter hit confirmed now, right? Because before his counter hit combo was like what? Okay. Yeah, you got something like that, I guess, really. But now he gets... So it's like a, it's an increase, I guess. I kinda like that, that looks kinda sick. 163 brings him all the way to the corner and we get a 236S knockdown. Into the corner? Hmm. over 200 for one bar on a counter hit 2s isn't terrible i guess i feel like i there's probably a little bit of optimization we'd be doing there but i don't think we're like in a range where we can start doing like back turn cancels to be up close maybe like back turn cancel dash something but i don't know i feel like they're still low to the ground after this like this is definitely lower than that So I don't think that's the the route we're trying to take, right? Um, hmm. So then what are our options? Like it looks like the best thing to do is if we get that counter hit is to take is to take that. Like 
keep dropping that shit. Alright, that didn't hit. That doesn't hit then. Does it not hit like that? Alright, it's not gonna hit because we get to push too far back. Hmm, what if we do stand eight stand slash there? That's actually a little bit more. So it's 218 there. What would we get? One thing I like about that then is it's, it's just how much easier it feels to do. Like if you know you've got, if you see you've got the counter, you can confirm to go into six H, DP or six H cross up, and then just do that situation. So that's that's pretty good, I think. Um, hmm. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. But I don't think like really. I don't think he's too much different. Um, I think his damage would end up being the same. I don't think the 236H thing really matters. I mean, people who are going to grab you on your wake up, no matter what you do, or they're on their wake up after 236H anyway. Um. Like, even before, people were, would always just grab. They would always just grab, and you just get counter hit 2, or counter hit back turn S. So, it being slower and maybe a little bit tighter doesn't really change anything, in my opinion. Maybe at, like, a super high level, but at most people's level, it's probably just going to be the same. And if you really feel that uncomfortable with it, you can definitely just do back turn K. And be done anyway. So. Yeah, I think, I think that's about it for him, really. Uh, probably it gives him some ways to do different types of Oki after certain hits, definitely, with the 6H. Um, so you don't always have to go into back turn. But I think it's way more telegraphed in that regard, too. So, who knows? Just wanted to look at it for a few minutes, I guess. It's been about 30. Um... Ooh, good song. Uh, what else? I don't think every, everything else was kind of just like straightforward. Just like, hey, we, we increase the scaling on this. Uh, this doesn't really do anything else different. They changed how his his uh, his stance parry worked, or um, not stance parry, the hold button parry he had. But I don't really see where that's going to be drastically different. He could just get the follow up attack out faster, which is nice. But I think the situations you were using it in before. I'm probably going to say the same. There's not really like a time now where you're going to do it that you weren't already doing it, you know? And so that's how I feel about it. Uh, and I say that and then probably like a week from now or something, someone will be like, oh, check out how much better this is in X matchup. Just beats blank clean. Oh, okay. Uh, they didn't give him a four frame off the top of my head. And they did not... Really adjust the startup on anything else. Like his, his flash kicks are the same startup. Uh, two, three, six, that's the same startup. Fireballs are the same startup. I think he benefits a little bit worse. I think he is more negatively affected with the fireball change. Um, where 
jump in attacks and be we're not not the fireball change but the system change where jumping uh slash and heavy kick can counter hit uh because I, I saw that like a video of someone doing it on kai where they just did, like full screen air dash counter hit jump s on kai doing s fireball so there's probably going to be like a, a point now where in like some matchups you have to be super super careful not to throw a fireball obviously like i can think versus may if you do it full screen and she just air dashes jump h's you're probably going to take a huge amount of damage so that's that's my thought on that where it's like that's a system mechanic where i can a system change where i really think he'll be negatively impacted uh other stuff i don't i don't see too big of a deal damage and stuff that's fine i mean his damage was already pretty up there on everything so sca more scaling on stuff or less scaling i don't think it really changes him too much um i saw there's like that one meet there's like that one like silly tech video where he does like multiple jump dusts in the corner so he's got a dust loop now technically but i think in most situations the grounded route would probably do more damage where you do like the the two the two s five h bounce two s five h bounce into they break the wall then just doing like five or six jump dust i'll have to check it later and see how you i don't even know how you set it up naturally it might not be something you can set up naturally it might just be like a weird thing that happened you can set up off of like a silly hit so that's something um and i might i might make add a video of that to my youtube or to here so we'll see. Um, but overall, I think he's pretty... I kind of like the 6H stuff. Uh, I was a little bit more hyped for it than when I started, when I started streaming than I am now. Because now it just kind of dawns on me that, hey, 5H covers most of what we wanted this does before. Uh, but there's a little, there's cool things. I definitely think 6H into DP is a nice little thing. And I think the natural gap it has might throw off people in strings that aren't just hardcore mashing. Like once you have like a little bit sophisticated mash, sophisticated mash, it might be a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like I was definitely way more Uh, feeling it before the stream, but I think now at the top of my head, it's like it's cool, it's cool stuff, it's not bad stuff, and it's definitely useful stuff, I think. But not like, oh, this changes how you want to do Oki with them in most situations, it just adds like another layer to it, which he can only benefit from, you know. That's my that's my thought on it. So, yeah, uh, this is just like a really short let's look at some his stuff real fast stream. Uh, Probably gonna put this on YouTube as well. So yeah, uh, if you see this, take it easy.